For 18 years, the Rosebud Film Competition has sought out and rewarded fresh and innovative filmmakers in Virginia, Maryland, and D.C. The competition gives exposure to the deserving independent film and video artists in our area. We're really pleased today to have the driving force behind the competition, Jackie Stephen, who is with Arlington Independent Media Access Station. And we also have the pleasure of having two other guests who are finalists in the Rosebud competition. We've got Rob Parrish as well as Stephen Gittry. So we're really glad to have you all here today. And Jackie, I want to start first with you. If you can tell us a bit about the Rosebud Film Competition and what it's all about. Rosebud started in 1990 uh, by a group of people who saw a need to foster the independent filmmakers that were in our area. Mm -hmm. There were no competitions at that time or film festivals that were unique to this area. And Rosebud is open exclusively to DC, Maryland, and Virginia filmmakers. Rosebud's mission also is to find films that are innovative, unusual, experimental, or deeply personal. So we have a, a very um, defined mission as to what we're looking for and to also really reward our artists who are here in this area. When is the awards going to go out? How's that process? Um, the showcase of the nominees, there are 20 nominees and two of them are here with us Which today. Great. Um, but the 20 nominees are all showcased on June 14th at Rosalind Spectrum Theater at oh, the great. Rosebud Nominee Showcase. Uh, tickets for that event are only $8 and are available at the door. So you can see all 20 films at six and a half hours wow, nice. of films for $8. So that dollar for dollar, like a it's great, a value. I think I'm going to be there. <laughs> the next night, um, June 15th, is the award ceremony. And of mm. those 20 nominees, five of them will each win $1,000 cash prizes the next night. Oh, wow. And so they can put their money into doing more films. They can put their money like. into doing more films. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you on that. And I want to turn to Rob. Um, can you tell me a little bit? Um, about the film that you have and what you did to put it together? Sure. Uh, my film is called Headache and it's composed mm. entirely of what some people call uh, found footage. You can think of it as discarded footage. It's old uh, commercials, um, uh, corporate public relations films, educational films. And what I do is I uh, look at lots of these kind of films because I, I like them a lot. And then just based on the images, I come up with a, a narrative or a story. And then I write out that story. I record it. And kind of, I'm, I'm usually the voice talent. I kind of make up a character, record the new story, and then re-edit the footage to the, to the story. Um, and what I find it does is, first of all, it makes me make stories that I could have never thought of in a million years Otherwise. because I'm keying off of the images. Uh, but then what I find is myself pops right through it. My concerns are kind of in there, kind of woven into the narrative. So it's a very uh, indirect way to make uh, very personal films in the end, even though the images are quite a few steps removed from, from me. They, they end up being very personal. Is it a certain type of genre that you do? Is it something specific or is this something that you've created on your own? No, there's, there's always been a lot of work around found footage mm. and uh, a lot of uh, artists. I've, I've kind of got one foot in the fine arts world and one foot in the video world. So a lot of fine art video artists are using found footage. There's quite a bit of that. Um, and kind of reappropriating footage for narrative, that's also been done uh, in the past um, as well. So it's a it's a tradition that I didn't make up, but one that uh, has a past and I think a future because I think people love these old films and they, they want to do things with them. Well, let's take a look at the short film clip of Headache. So I'm dreaming. I'm like at a resort in, I think, Arizona. It's a desert. I've got my lawn chair. Everything's great. It's hot, but it's dry heat, so I'm feeling warm, but not bothered. The only weird thing are these little buildings miles in the distance. I know they are far away somehow, but when I look right at them, they seem close. Then boom, flash, an A-bomb goes off, and before I can really react, this big suitcase snaps me up and sweeps me off. I open my eyes and I'm in a house, but in the dream, I know it's the inside of the suitcase. Funny thing, I, I don't remember waking up from this dream. And this voiceover is what I'm thinking. Oh, great. great. Thank you for sure. that. And then, Stephen, you have a, a whole other different type of medium itself. Could you describe that for us? Um, well, the, the 
it's a music video, I guess, is mm. a sort of larger genre for a band that I'm in called the Cassettes, mm. and um, the the actual animation is is hand drawn. It's sort of hand drawn art by the lead singer of the band, actually, and then um, digitally animated. So um, basically, he drew the backgrounds and the characters and whatnot, and drew them in such a way so they could be animated. Uh, so basically, oh. you know, the hands and the, the arms and the eyes and the hats are sort of separate pieces. And then uh, he gave it to me and put it into the computer and used a computer to animate all those little elements and everything. And then, of course, also uh, gave it a sort of, I guess, having been inspired um, from a very early age for things like, you know, the short cartoons on Sesame Street and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, to give it that sort of vintage, uh, vintage meaning, I guess, 60s, 70s, so uh, vintage, so you know. retro type of, Sort of, yeah, you know. more retro, I suppose. And, uh, you know, to sort of give it that look um, and to have that sort of, try to achieve some of that simplicity of, of that form of, of animation. Now we're going to take a look at your short film video, Rogue Gnome by the Cassettes. Thank you all, and good luck on the competition to both you, Rob, and to you, Stephen. You've got some really great clips that we just took a look at. And But before we go, Jackie, I do have a question. Could you tell us a little bit more about Arlington Independent Media? I can. Um, Arlington Independent Media is the public access center that serves this county. We have classes in television production, everything from very basic classes through master classes. But then we also have equipment and facilities available for you to use to create either independent films or wow. anything that you want. And then we have a channel that we air it on here in Arlington. Oh, wow, that sounds great. I mean, this is a great resource not only for Arlington filmmakers, but really for anyone in Arlington to be able to take advantage of some of the resources that Absolutely. you have. That's awesome. Okay, we got to go, but we'll see you next month from the AVN Studios. Remember, it's all happening here now. Travel out.